Yo, what's up guys? This is Lil Majin here, and today this video is gonna cover the difference in punishment between King and Armor King. Before I go over their punishment, I want to give a shout out to this video sponsor, Glitch Energy. Head over to glitchenergy.com, go to shop and get the starter kit. It comes with a variety of flavors as well as a nice shaker to help get you started. All for only $12. Once you use my code Majin at checkout to receive a 25% discount. Boost your gaming experience right now with Glitch. So we're just going to talk about King's standing punishment for now. Um, negative 10, you can get 2-1 or you can go for 1-2. Let me see. And you can know uh, you you can do some stuff with one two like delay it if they um try to move or attack you know the entire next three hits are free but um yeah two one is, is better for your frames and damage so um that's definitely good and i got next for um negative 12 he has back two one Plus 5 and 33, but you can still opt to use 2 1 for better frames. So it's just, it's really up to you. Because at plus 5, a lot of characters can like sidestep a down forward 1 or even down forward 2. Or even jabs, you know, Zafina. But um, yeah, that's pretty good. High damage 33. And what's this? Negative 13. The same thing. You get back 1 2. 2 1 1 2 or if you're just feeling cheeky you know you can do his 13 frame standing for but he'll advise you know plus 6 and 20 that's not enough you can just do a 10 frame that's 25 you know and for 14 frames this is the knockdown this is the good stuff here back 2 1 hard knockdown 37 damage and it wall sticks so um yeah that's that's pretty good and that was a game changer for king in season four i feel and obviously negative 15 hop kick that's um the best 15 frame launch king has doesn't have a lot of range though thankfully this move here is like a a negative 15 with like no pushback because some characters have some uh launch punishable stuff that you know a hop kick just won't reach like um atlas hammer oh goodness let me like if you block it at a distance you can't punish it you have to do like a, a try hard like forward dash to get that but against atlas hammer just do atlas hammer but that's just a quick example of hop kick not reaching see it doesn't have a lot of range all right so against paul and death fist he can either go for back three one plus two and with a good range like um this distance here only four um one plus two will hit because back three whips is not fast enough see he becomes 18 frames when he's like max distance but up close yeah you could definitely forward two one it or back three it or even um just go for the same thing and go for four one plus two so um he has those options for that and against paul's demo man like the last hit four two one always hit always and you can go for back three one plus two as well so he has some pretty good like max distance punishment for characters who have like death fists or like brian's uh while standing one is like negative um 16 i want to say it's definitely launch punishable but king's hop kick just won't reach so he has to do stuff like forward two one forward one plus two or back three one plus two so keep that in mind so yeah that's pretty much king's standing punishment i mean it's not bad and it's not just op or anything because a lot of characters do have you know 12 frame knockdowns kazuya uh jen devil jen uh, lots of characters, you know But this the damage is definitely greater than theirs. I want to say um, 33 is nothing to laugh at so back to one all of his standard punishers, you know They don't knock down besides uh, the 14 frame But the good thing is, you know 
uninterruptible, unsidestep with that swing afterwards against the majority of the cast. So, yeah, that is pretty good. So, King's Punishment works well with his character design. So, um, yeah. Pretty, pretty good. Now, let's move on to Armor King. So, Armor King's Standing Punishment is really good. It's even better than King's. So, um, with 10, same thing as King, same damage. Um, you get a 2-1. But the only thing is, like, you don't get an option really for one, two, because it's so weak. You can delay the third hit in hopes that it'll be a counter hit, but unless they're by the wall, or you have raise to make that counter hit a third hit, a um, guaranteed raise drive, or a guaranteed Frankenstein at the wall, is really nothing you get from it. So, go for the two, one. That's really good for his 10 frame and 11 frame punish. And, um,. Negative 12, you get back one, two. So back one, two, it's just one point weaker than Kings. So uh, this was a season four buff, and I say it was much needed because uh, his back one doesn't have as much range as Kings. But usually, if something is negative 12, Armor King will be able to reach it with back one, two. And his frames are different obviously he gets plus six instead of plus five like king so um he gets more leeway after he hits you with it so that's pretty good arguably a better punisher than king's back one two if we're just basing it off of frames and how close he is to him yeah he's like super close so yeah that's pretty good and it gets really um cool at 13 so he can do one two back one two Obviously, he can still go for 2-1 if he wants better frames and less damage. But another thing, if, like, the wall is nearby, you can get 4, 1 plus 4, you get a shoulder. But you have to be, you know, precise with it. You have to be quick. You have no leeway. It has to be instant, you know. Because it's negative 13 hop kicks, you have to be instant with the shoulder. So, if they're by the wall and they do a hop kick... Armor King gets a uh, knockdown at 13 frames and a wall stick. King doesn't get one into 14 frames. And this goes for negative 14 frames as well. I mean, you can do the lazy thing with back one, two, because most, most Armor King players are going to do that. However, he does have the option to down back two, four. You see, it's less damage, but the problem is um, the wall. So. If they're about a wall, this is going to wall stick. So you'll be losing out on damage, but you get the wall. So you're going to get more damage than the stronger, you know, two points more back one, two. So you're going to want to do down back two, four. And look at, look at the frames though. Plus 13. You could do pretty much anything. The world is yours with plus 13. You can go for the slowest stuff and the opponent won't be able to stop you because you have so many frames, you know. But, um, yeah, and another thing, you can get access to a perfect God Fist. So, let me try and get it. As you can see, Armor King has a pretty beefy 14 frame punish. That's super hard to do, so, um, not very reliable. Unless you can really do it, you know. Yeah, it's taking me like 50 tries, right? But 80 damage for a uh, 14 frame march. That's that's pretty good. Yeah, so that is um, ridiculous. And moving on to 15 frames. Obviously, he has a hop kick. The range got buffed in Season 4. But... It's still still not enough range, but you know, so, uh, King's Marduk string has like no pushback on block, so Armor King gets an easy hop kick to an easy um. Well, I won't say easy. This 73 damage is pretty difficult, honestly. That clothesline, but it's definitely doable. So um, if he's doing something like Atlas Hammer. The hop kick isn't just, it's not reliable enough. You can still get it if you get like up close, but if you're like any distance away, hop kick is gonna miss and you're gonna have to do a dark upper to punish it. 
And that's another thing. Um, Deathfish Punishers. Um, Armor King is still, I would say, he's better. Like, let's let's go against Paul real quick. Yeah, you see, Armor King gets back three. It's his shoulder. That's 45. I'm trying to get, like, max distance. Yeah, he still gets the shoulder. The Raking, he gets a pretty beefy Punisher. It's just two points less, which is his back three into the leg drop. But Armor Kings is a little bit easier to do because there's no death frame involved. Doesn't hit at max range, obviously. But um, at most ranges, Armor King gets an easy death fist punish. And if you're really, really godlike, you can get a dash dark upper. But that's that's like super super hard to do. Let me see if I can do it again. Yeah, you see that's that's something that King has no access to. He cannot launch this no matter how hard he tries. But Armor King, Dark Upper, that's that's a game changer. So let me do the um Demo Man, same thing, back three. Now with this move here, I don't think, yeah, he can't get a dash dark upper, I don't believe. Yeah, it's too, it recovers too fast. But back three is always gonna hit. Let me try to get this shoulder bar. Yeah, so that's pretty good. So with that being said, Armor King definitely has better standing punishment than King. Definitely. Because he gets same damage for 10 frames, one point weaker for 12, and at 13 he gets a knockdown, aka wall stick, with shoulder bars. So that's that's pretty darn good. At 14 frames, he can go for down back 2-4 for plus 13, or the same, you know, back 1-2. But he does get dark upper so that's something to think about <laughs> if you could do it of course the only the only issue with armor king standing punishment is um like negative 15 so um stuff like um iron mountain here you know even though it's negative 16 armor king doesn't get a, a easy launch he has to go for dark upper and that's easy to mess up Whereas King can just do a hop kick and it's gonna hit because it has more range. So that's the only issue there. But still, you still I think Armor King, he has better standing punishment. Now let's go to Crouch Punishment or while Rising Punishment. Okay, so it's pretty common, you know, belief that King has better while Rising Punishment than Armor King and I definitely agree. I mean, you can't really argue against it, right? But here's why, here's why. So, while standing four, that's what you get for a negative 11, negative 12, even negative 13 for both characters. But um, obviously there is some leeway where you can um, crouch cancel in one, two. It's possible to do crouch cancel two, one as well, but that's that's just too hard to do. So you can do um, while standing four, or if you're like really good, you can crouch counsel with one two. That's really good. Now if he had a uh, if Paul had a negative thirteen low, I don't know which one it might be. It might be um, back three. I want to say, yeah, yeah. So it's possible to. Uh, Cross cancel and back one too. It's super hard to do as you can see. I'm struggling with it. Um, I'm gonna get it one day. One of these tries. Oh my goodness. Very, very unreliable, obviously. <laughs> Let me see if I can get it. But you have to tap up. Yeah, there it is super hard to do but it's definitely an option and um, armor king he can do it too
But anyways, yeah, that's um, that's some try hard sweaty stuff, and I don't recommend it. It's it's too difficult. But um, let me um, go back to recording this. So obviously for a negative thirteen, same thing. Um, but King can cross throw because cross throw is twelve frames as you can see, and that's pretty good. So obviously while standing for and cross throw, that's what you do if they're recovering, crouching with the low. Really good punishment options, and as you can see, uh, now this throw here, both of King's, uh, both of his uh, cross throws, they they floor break on like Forgotten Realm and stuff, and the um, Aka Rum stage, I want to say. So that's really good. Both of them uh, floor break, one of which gives you a good burning knuckle setup. But anyways, uh, moving along. You have negative 14 here. King has a Val Rising 2 2. That's 14 frames and pretty damaging. And look at it. Plus 12 on hit. The world is yours on hit. <laughs> and it has pretty, pretty good range too. So at any range you block this, you're going to be able to get while standing 2 2. So not only is it fast, it's, it's pretty long range. So it's real, real, real reliable. If the low is negative 14, then King is nine times out of 10, or even 10 times out of 10, gonna be able to punish you with a wild standard 2 2. And that is something that Armor King does not have. And moving along, negative 15 and above, before it gets to like super, like the stagger lows, he gets a gut punch. And the great thing about this is that almost any range. It's probably one of the furthest reaching um, 15 frame while standing punishes on the game. So full crouch down for a two. Massive, massive range. Um, let me see if I can get the max damage combo. Well, that's not max damage, but let me see. I just do basic, I'll do basic. Yeah, so this is a grip. 75 from Launch Punish Below, that's pretty, pretty damaging. And for big staggers like Hell Sweeps, he gets delayed hop kick. Now the combo from it, it's not too reliable. I have to figure out a way to make it hit every time. But 81 damage. Look at that. That's a grip. But you have to do a um, a longer delayed version of the hot kick to make that work. So that's pretty good damage. Pretty darn good damage. So King definitely has better while standing punishment. It's not too big of a deal. But, you know, it is once you block those launch punishments below that, you know, Armor King can't punish them. <laughs> So um, let's move on to Armor King, and we're gonna do the same thing against Paul. I can show you guys um, the weaknesses of Armor King's while standing punishment or while rising. Okay, so for Armor King, negative twelve while standing four is his best punish. Unlike King, you know, cross canceling to the one two is not good to do at all. Just seventeen points and. That's plus five. You may as well get your plus five while standing four since it's 20 compared to 17. And like I said before, with his standing punishment, the third hit of one, two, one, it's not, it's not really great. You know, if you're comparing it to King's one, two, one, because even on counter hit, you don't get anything guaranteed. You do get massive plus frames because they stagger, but it's, it's not anything comparable. Uh, to King's 1 2 1. So while standing 4 for negative 11 and 12 and 13 as well. But the negative 13s that were, uh, recover crouching, just like King, he gets options for a uh, crouch throw, 45 damage. Really, really good. And I want to say, I think they both break the floor. I don't know. But uh, I, I definitely know the one break does. But, um,. Yeah, while well, standing for so him and King they pick for attack with that. 
and negative 14 this is where it gets real juicy so armor king has to do while standing four but it's possible for him to crouch cancel with back one two it's really difficult but not as difficult since you have more frames to crouch cancel so you have like two frames leeway here and if you're a real try hard you can crouch cancel with shoulder and um they're back against the wall you know that's that's pretty good so unlike king who doesn't get a uh, knockdown option from negative 14 from crouch armor king does but of course the move has to be negative 14. while shoulder you know is is less damage it's a knockdown so that's pretty good that's really interesting so you be the judge on which one is better like king's 2-2 two, two, you know easy 36 damage plus 12 on hit or 28 damage knock down shoulder their wall sticks so this is the problem here um where, where is it where is it this is the problem here see he has to be at point blank to get the um the hop kick punish but over here he gets nothing and if while standing one had if while standing one was 15 frames it will punish it but it's 16 so when it comes to negative 15s armor king has nothing really he has to go for a um see even while standing four isn't reliable at that distance he has to go for something you know kind of risky like crouch council shoulder but um <laughs> full crouch down four is pretty much all he's gonna get for while standing two but even while standing two at a distance it's, it's not enough you know so that is that's the problem so a lot of lows you know recover crouching every character's full crouch down four Except for like King and maybe one other character. I can't remember who it was, but they're all negative 15. And a lot of characters, you know, a lot of players use the full crouch to like kill. Because some characters down fours are like standing lows that look like this. But um, it's real important. Like if they try to do that and get over on King, King can block and punish it with gut punch. But Armor King doesn't have that. So not only does Armor King have lesser you know while standing punishment then king it's like lesser than a lot of characters <laughs> it's not just king this is like a this is an armor king problem because um that is really really big when you're fighting you know a character with a negative 15 load that you know if you block it from max range he gets nothing where you know king he can obviously get an easy easy gut punch and last but not least, if Armor King blocks a Demo Man or Hell Street, it's a delay hop kick into a pretty damaging combo. 85. Yikes. But another thing he can do is um he can um couch cancel with the dark upper for the 80. But um delay hop kick is better. More damage. Why not? So as you can see, if you're any distance away, really, you can't launch punish it. I mean, he does have the second hit of down 2-2 two, two to keep you in check from trying to launch punish it, but what if you guess right? You don't get anything with Armor King, and that's the problem. Even while standing four misses, so that's, it's, <laughs> it's pretty bad. Whereas King has, while standing 2-2, two, two, if he doesn't want to think too much about it, and he can do gut punch. So, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty crazy. So, where do you rate, where do you rate the punishment versus punishment with King and Armor King? So, with King, he has, you know, lesser standing punishment than Armor King, but it's not so less to where it's just bad because, I mean, what Armor King is consistently, 
like dark upper ring uh negative 14 frame like no one nobody on the planet right not even jdcr so he's doing the back one two for negative 14 the majority of the time anyways and that's one point weaker than king's back one two but of course by the law that's where things get real juicy armor king is great he gets a shoulder if someone does a a hop kick or anything negative 13 or 14 um he can do down back two four for negative 14. like if a jack does um down forward two with his back against the wall armor king can punish it hard so um all in all i think their their punishment with with all things considered i think king might get the edge over armor king here because um the wild standing punishment is a big deal. There are a lot of lows that are negative 14 on this game. A lot of them. And really, it's, it's more lows. It's more lows on the game that are negative 14 than there are standing attacks that are negative 14. So you have to really think about that. And negative 15 as well. So King is better at blocking lows and punishing the Norma King. And that's a big deal. Thank goodness we have low parry though, so you know that's something to kind of mitigate it. But um, I think all in all, if it's not tick for tack, I think King slightly edge out. He edges out a uh, armor King with the punishment in general. But um, yeah, that's only for block punishment. Now whip punishment is a different. That's a different subject. That's that's for a different video. I would like to say because um, armor King is. He's obviously better, right? He has a god fist, so that's not even debatable. But I think whiff punishment is in a different category than the straight up punishment, like block punishment. Two different categories. So um, yeah, I think King gets the edge on Armor King when it comes to block punishment, but definitely not whiff punishment. But anyways, um, let me know what you guys think in the uh, comment section. Um, if I'm missing anything or if you guys think Armor King is a better Punisher than King, let me know. Let me know in the comments. And if you haven't already, like this video, keep it in the algorithm. You know, keep me in the algorithm and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Why not? You like videos like this, obviously. So, um, yeah, keep keep me um, on your timeline, guys. So, um yeah, yeah, again, let me know. Let me know what you think about King and Armor King and their punishment. Who do you think is better? <laughs> Anyways, have a great one. Peace.